I was teasing you about what our snap plier project is. Curtains. We have the original curtains from when the Airstream was made in 2005. And while they work fine, they are dirty and ruffled. I don't really like the ruffles. So I'm gonna make some new ones. Um, some really cool gray and white pattern fabric for most of the curtains. These are gonna be later. I'm gonna start in the bedroom because as I've learned, when you're doing something you've never done before, start in the area where less the least number of people see it and then progress to the area where everyone else sees it. So we're gonna do the bedroom curtains first. We're gonna do the gray and white behind the bed and the red ones on either side. So this is how I do it. Oh, wind. These are what I'm working on now for the side windows in the bedroom. And these were actually, both of them were actually curtains from Ikea. We saw them hanging in curtains at Ikea, obviously not the right size. And we knew this is what we wanted. So what I've done, what I started by doing was I took the curtains off the windows and I measured them. Um, for the side windows I'm working on now, there's actually two curtains that pull together in the center and they're different sizes. One is big, like this one, and the other is smaller and they match on either side of the Airstream. So I'm making four curtains right now. What I did is I took them off and I measured them. So I have my little schematics, of the right and the left, um, where the Velcro is, where the snaps are, how long they are, and then where all the little poles are approximately. So what I'm doing right now is I cut the red fabric I just finished cutting the blackout fabric. That's the other thing. We're putting blackout fabric on all of our curtains. One, to prevent light coming in, but more importantly, to prevent heat from coming in or keep the heat in during the winter. Makes a huge difference. We've already felt it on the one curtain we've done. So just finished cutting all the blackout fabric. Now I have to pin them right side to right side. And then the next step, which will be another day, will be sewing them. And I'll show you that then. So why am I doing this outside and contending with this quite nice breeze, but not when you're pinning fabric? Because I don't have this kind of floor space in the Airstream and that giant roll of um, blackout fabric doesn't fit really anywhere in the Airstream. So I gotta wait for the nice days to get my cutting. I can do my sewing inside, but my cutting and my pinning is much easier outside, even with the wind. Continuing work on the curtains. So pin them right side to right side. Not that it really matters with the red fabric, with the blackout fabric and the curtain fabric. So I'm going to sew on either side and then turn it right side in and then hem the other sides. We'll have a nice hemmed curtain. And then it's attaching all the tabs and the Velcro and the snaps to get them hung. So they're sewed together. Now we make it right side in. Okay, top and bottom are nicely done. Now it's time to hem the sides. Because then I can put. Now that they're all hemmed up. The next step is to cut elastic, new elastic for them. And cut these tabs off the old curtains and put them on the new ones. Okay. 
in. And that's it for the bedroom curtains. We got our beautiful gray and white print fabric in the back. That's what's gonna be up front as well. And we have our red curtains on the side. They make a huge difference. Over here, the sun is shining directly on this window right now. And we have the blinds down and the curtain closed and I bet I could sleep in here and it'd be pretty dark. So that blackout fabric makes a huge difference. I also can't feel the heat coming through the window. So hopefully these curtains not only look better, but they will provide lots of light and temperature uh, protection. So that's it, feeling pretty good. Learning from each set of new curtains, so the ones in the front should be awesome. And uh, I think this is our last big DIY project before we hit the road, so, uh, but we'll see. Thanks for watching. Um, and as always, if you like these kinds of things, if you could give us a big thumbs up and let us know in the comments below, we'd love to hear it. And we'll see you next time, guys. Bye.